the LOSJ. Okay, the LOSJ is asking us to analyze the impact of the government regulation. Okay, so note that whenever you have this government regulation, okay, you will see that there will be some or the other intervention on the demand and supply, and you will not be able to get the equilibrium. So remember, when we are not at the equilibrium, there will be deadweight loss. So what are the government intervention? Gro government intervention takes place in the form of price control. So government will impose certain price control, like it will say that there is a minimum price. Okay, so think about it. There will be a minimum salary to be given to the labor, right? So that is a minimum price. There will be a minimum price for wheat or maize that should be given to the farmer, right? So that is a minimum price. So this minimum price is known as the price floor right similarly sometimes government's control in the prices make that you have certain items you have maximum prices okay this will be your price ceilings in certain cities of the world you have rent ceilings that is the rent will not be more than a, a few thousand uh, dollars or some hundred dollars right so this will act as a deterrent to many of the suppliers so we'll see what is the impact of this price control then other government interventions are taxes see taxes are a uh, truth of life okay so you have to pay taxes to the government right but this impact of taxes it does interfere the demand and supply market and there is deadweight loss okay the only idea about this taxes is if the government can utilize this taxes for the benefit of people such that if the benefit is more than the deadweight loss then it is good to have taxes okay then government sometimes imposes quotas on certain industry so if you have let's say 100 companies in the your country you will say that not any company can produce more than 10 million ton okay so that is a quota that is you assign to each of the company and then you have the subsidy certain governments they provide subsidy to the farmer in the form of providing subsidy to the fertilizers subsidi subsidizing pesticides right so we will see that what will be the impact of these subsidies and quota note that these quotas and subsidy are actually not in your uh, cfa book curriculum but we'll just cover them briefly to understand that why they will result in deadweight loss right so the impact of all of this intervention is that they may result in they would result in either underproduction or they would result in overproduction and as we have seen that either underproduction or overproduction would result in your deadweight loss first let us see what is price ceiling okay so <clears throat> in the price ceiling what uh, we have is it is illegal to buy or sell the goods above the ceiling price so if you want to sell above the ceiling price you are not allowed to sell okay most of the time in it uh, it increases the consumer surplus why it increases the consumer surplus because the consumers are not paying the uh, equilibrium price they are paying lower prices because of the ceiling that has been imposed okay but it does result the uh, result in decrease of the producer surplus okay and moreover it results in deadweight loss right so please note that the price ceiling would result in under production why it would result in under production because people would not produce the item they feel that they are selling an item which should be priced higher at lower price so they decrease the quantity as a result you have deadweight losses okay now we'll see that where the price ceiling has impact or where it doesn't have impact so let us see that diagram that we have okay so <coughs> So this is the original diagram that we had. Okay, suppose that the equilibrium price is 10 and the equilibrium quantity you were selling was 20. Okay, now the government has put a price ceiling of 8 dollar. So it says that you cannot sell your product beyond 8. So this is the price that is ceiling. Okay, now when this ad think about it, when you start charging 8 dollar to your uh, customer, okay, what would happen to the demand? At 8 dollar, okay, people will see that the demand would be coming from the demand curve. So at 8 dollar, the quantity demanded will be this much. So there will be more quantity demanded. Think about it. At 8 dollar, the people are demanding 25 units. Okay, but at 8 dollar, you would not supply those 25 units because you will suffer losses. See, think about it. At 8 dollar, if you supply uh, the 
quantity of 25 this is your cost and you will suffer this much loss so you will not supply at this you will supply this much quantity because at eight dollar it is just meeting your marginal cost right so you will supply this much quantity think about it as 15 so you will supply only 15 quantity okay what has happened okay the producer surplus has gone down to only this okay so this is the producer surplus but the consumer surplus has actually increased so think about it this is the total area that the consumer surplus is so the consumers has taken this area okay from the producer okay however because you are not producing this equilibrium quantity this is the loss to the economy so this area which is shaded in the pink this is a loss to the economy right because of the under production right so you may be asked to compute this losses okay the losses that due to happens due to under production so to compute this losses see this 15 and 25 values i have just given you the random values okay but for that we need to get back to our equation so what was our equation okay so these two were our equation okay so let's see this get this equation okay and see that how we can get the losses okay so so think about it we have the ceiling price ceiling price is set as now dollar eight okay so the ceiling price is now as dollar eight so the quantity demanded will be 30 minus 8 quantity demanded is 22 but the quantity supplied will be minus 30 plus 5 into 8 right so because the price is 8 so 40 and this will be 10 so you will supply only 10 units okay so if you see this okay so earlier you were supplying 20 units but uh, that was done at a price of 10 but at a price of 8 you are going to supply only 10 units okay so when you supply only 10 units what happens is the producer surplus now has shrunk to this remember uh, it was 6 from the previous discussion so the producer surplus now is how much half into base into height so base is your 8 minus 6 this is your base which is 2 and your height is 10 right so this will be half into 2 into 10 so this will be 10 so the producer surplus has gone to 10 so producer surplus is 10 and think about what happens to the consumer surplus this trapezium is the consumer surplus right? so this entire area is your consumer surplus now how do you find out the area of the trapezium the area of the trapezium is half into k height into uh, your the this plus this i think so right so that or you can think like this okay uh, you can think this as one rectangle and this as one triangle so this we saw it was 30 okay so think about it at 10 uh, quantity okay what should be the price they should be willing to pay so at 10 uh, quantity so 10 quantity the price they should be willing to pay will be 20 so this should be 20 right so this is the consumer surplus so this difference is 30 minus 20 which is 10 so half into 10 into 10 so this will be 50 so this area is 50 and this is a rectangle so this 20 minus 8 is 12 and this is 10 right so it is half into 10 into 12 right so it is 60 so the consumer surplus has go gone to 110 so consumer surplus is 110 right so what happens is consumer surplus may increase or decrease that is what we mentioned so let us see what was the previous consumer surplus see the previous consumer surplus was 200 now the consumer surplus has decreased to 110 the producer surplus is 10 so the total surplus is 120 so this is the total surplus of 120 as a result what we say is the total surplus has also gone down and what is your deadweight loss deadweight loss is this area is the deadweight loss so can you compute this deadweight loss also deadweight loss one way to compute is the triangle it is half into base into height so this you know 20 and 8 12 right and height you know it is 10 right so it is 60 so there is a loss of 60 in the economy right so 
that is the loss that you have got so dead weight loss is 60 note that there is a slight one mistake uh, the dead weight loss is 60 but we made one mistake here this should not be half right so it should be 120 so the consumer surplus has become more so it has become 170 it may increase or it may decrease in this case it has become 170 okay so which is lower so earlier it was 200 from 200 it has become 170 right so the producer surplus is 10 so the total surplus is 180 and the consumer surplus is 60 please note that this should sum to 240 okay which we have seen earlier the total surplus was 240 so the dead weight loss plus the consumer surplus so dead weight loss plus consumer surplus plus producer surplus should be equal to 240 that is the that is the idea so that's why i so this is your consumer surplus is 170 this is 10 and this is 60 then so please note that this is the area of the rectangle so it cannot be half so this 10 into 12 and this is 10 into 10 so that is the idea so this is how you can compute assuming straight lines okay you will be able to come so just a recap a price ceiling it will result in under production and a dead weight loss now think about it if i make if i put a price ceiling at instead of a uh, putting at uh, below this equilibrium price so this was your equilibrium price as 10 if I don't put it here but if I put it above the equilibrium price let's say if I put the price ceiling at 15 will it have any impact okay so because the equilibrium price is 10 okay people will trade will do the trading at 10 okay nobody will do the trading at 15 government is saying that you cannot ask for more than 15 okay but you can ask definitely less than 15 which we are asking at 10 right so that is what we have got so we are asking at 10 and we have got at 10 right so it has no impact so uh, asking at 15 it does not result in any dead weight loss so that is the idea no impact when the selling is above the ceiling is above the equilibrium price